The Conspirator is a story that no one knows inside of a story that everybody knows. What is it? What? Sometimes there are details that are connected to an event that nobody knows about that to me are fantastic. We know that Lincoln was shot. Lincoln was taken to a house and died within 24 hours. What's not known is how he got from point A to point B. Action! Is he dead? <laughs> to me, Part of the story that had to do with where we were at that time and the unpreparedness of people for something like this to happen was significant. So in a sense, by taking Lincoln across that street where everyone was in shock, they didn't know what to do, but they had to act. In the meantime, crowd was forming. It was getting chaotic, almost overpowering the procession. And finally, a neighbor said, bring him in here. <laughs> to me, that was a very significant piece of history that no one knows about. And so I guess you could say it's, a, it's an attempt to bring something small that's not known and magnify it by paying more attention to it. So you've handled cases like this before? There's never been a case like this before. Well, for me, the arc of those two characters as they came together, starting from disparate places, was where the real story was. And that was the story that I wanted to tell and that I wanted to focus on. Done defending your lies. You're so blind with hatred, Mr. Aiken. You can't even see the truth. They quickly put together a courtroom to have a quick trial. And it also is a, a subtle point that the film was making, which this woman uh, was rushed to judgment. The commission does therefore sentence you to be hanged by the neck until you be dead. Can you, through the art of filmmaking, create the feeling of what it feels like to be hung? And for me, it was starting with the wider frame of the makeshift gallows inside a prison yard. And as the people came in and as they moved up to their final fate, the camera kind of goes with them. 